Hi everyone, in this video we are going to run an exercise together about how you can deploy your machine learning model on Azure. Machine learning deployment is the process by which a machine learning algorithm is converted into a web service. Uh, we refer to this conversion process as operationalization. Operationalize a machine learning model means that we transform it into a consumable service and we embed it into an existing uh, production environment. Uh, model deployment is a fundamental step of a machine learning uh, model workflow. Through machine learning model deployment, companies can really begin to take full advantage of the predictive and intelligent models they build, develop business practices based on their model results, and as a consequence also transform themselves into actual AI machine-driven uh, companies and businesses. This is an example of the model lifecycle and how you can manage it. Uh, as you can see, there are different steps. Each of them is very important. So the first capability of a, a model lifecycle is be able to track model versions and metadata with a centralized model registry. Then you will be also able to uh, leverage containers to capture runtime dependencies for inference. Uh, also, it's important uh, that you are able to leverage an orchestrator such as uh, Kubernetes to provide a scalable uh, inference. Uh, some data scientists also uh, wants to capture model telemetry, such as the health, performance, inputs and outputs of your uh, model. And it's also important to encapsulate each step in the life cycle to enable CI, CD uh, and DevOps. This is an auto optimization of the different operations and also of the uh, machine learning model life cycle. Uh, finally, you can also automatically optimize model to take advantage of a hardware accelerator. All these steps, as you can see, are part of the model life cycle and how you can manage it. Another important concept is the model deployment workflow. The workflow is similar no matter where you deploy your model. There are four important steps here. You have to register your model, then you have to prepare it to deploy it, you have to deploy the model to the computer target that you choose, and finally you have to test the deployed model that is called also a web service. Before we move uh, to Azure Machine Learning Studio to run the exercise together, I want to share with you some resources. If you want to learn more about Azure Machine Learning, uh, here is uh, a nice link that you can check out uh, to learn more about all the documentations around Azure Machine Learning, aka .ms slash Azure ML Talk. If you want to learn more about how to run Azure Machine Learning experiments and uh, also how to deploy uh, your uh, services, uh, you can look at aka.ms slash Azure ML service. Finally, it, it, if you wanted to learn just how to deploy your machine learning models on the cloud, you can visit aka.ms slash model deployment. Let's now open Azure Machine Learning Studio. As you remember from the previous videos, Azure Machine Learning Studio is a cloud-based environment that you can use to uh, train, test, and deploy your machine learning models on the cloud. In this uh, exercise, we are going to use the notebooks option. As you recall, there are also other two options uh, that are automated machine learning and designer. For this exercise, we are going to use the notebooks option that allows you to code with the Python SDK and run a sample experiment. So let's click on Start now. As you can see here, you have two different types of notebooks, my files and sample notebooks. Under my files, you are going to find all the files that you store there, all the different notebooks, but also additional files related to your experiments and data set that you already uploaded on Azure Machine Learning. Sample notebooks is an option actually to get started with Azure Machine Learning service and the notebooks option. And and to learn uh, more. For this exercise, you have to open the How to Use Azure ML uh, folder, 
and then under that you see there is automated machine learning so this is a folder full of notebooks and exercise that you can leverage to learn more about Azure machine learning and automated machine learning for this exercise we are going to look at the regression explanation featureization notebook. Under Regression Explanation Futurization Notebook, you just need to click on these first uh, notebooks and uh, uh, that is called Auto ML Regression Explanation Futurization. And here you just need to click on Clone these notebooks. Here is going to ask you which folder you want to clone this notebook to. Uh, here there is the folder that I created that is associated to my subscription. So I just select this. Another nice capability of this step is that it's going to tell you that cloning this notebook will also clone the following files and folders. Usually these are all files and folders that you need in order to run that specific notebook. So you just need to click on clone. After that you click on clone and you go back to your folder under files, you're going to see that uh, that specific folders under the sample notebooks is now in your my file folder. So here you can see it is a regression explanation featureization folder with the notebook that you want to use, AutoML regression explanation featureization. You just need to uh, click on this and what is nice is that it's going to open this on the right. Here there are a few features that I want to show you. One is compute. Compute is a very important feature because it is uh, something that you have to uh, create before running an experiment in, uh, um, uh, in uh, Azure Machine Learning Studio, whether you are using uh, um, the designer, the auto ML one, or the notebooks. In this case, you can see that I already created this uh, um, compute, and so I made it run, and uh, I'm Link, linking this uh, um, computer to this uh, specific uh, notebook. In case I want to stop the, this uh, uh, computer, I can just click on stop computer. The other nice feature that I want to show you is this. It's called the Jupyter. Here you can just click on this and you have uh, two options, edit in Jupyter and edit in Jupyter Lab. So whatever is uh, your preference, here you can pick either Jupyter option or the other option, which is the Jupyter Lab. So for this, let's click on Jupyter. And this is going to open us uh, these nice uh, Jupyter Notebooks where you can find everything that is related to the Jupyter Notebooks that we just cloned from Azure Machine Learning repo. In this exercise, I want you to run this notebook. Um, this notebook is using a specific type of dataset. It's called the Hardware Performance Dataset to showcase how you can use AutoML for a simple uh, regression problem. The regression goal is to predict the performance of certain combination of hardware parts. And after training AutoML models for this regression dataset, we show you how you can compute the model explanation on your remote computer using a sample explainer script. If you are using uh, Azure Machine Learning Compute Instance, you are all set, like as we did as I show you. In case you don't want to use Azure Machine Learning Instance, there is uh, these configuration notebooks that you have to run so that you can establish that connection uh, to Azure Machine Learning Workspace. This is a very nice uh, uh, notebook, that's why I want you to run uh, this uh, uh, exercise uh, uh, for many different reasons. Not only because we are going to learn together how you can deploy a machine learning model on Azure, but also we are going to learn how you can use automated machine learning. So first of all, we are going to create an experiment in an existing workspace. Then we are going to instantiate automated uh, machine learning config class with the futurization config class for customization. 
and then we're going to train the model using a remote computer. Finally, we're going to explore the results and featureization transparency option, which is very nice for interpretability reasons. And finally, we're going to uh, start an experiment, uh, Azure Machine Learning experiment, on your remote computer to uh, see what are the different explanations that AutoML generated for you. You can also download the feature importance for raw features and visualize the explanation for raw features on the Azure portal. So let's start with the setup. As a part of uh, the setup, you already created Azure Machine Learning uh, a Workspace object. For automated machine learning, you will need to create an experiment object, which is a name object in a workspace used to run different types of experiments. So these first few cells shows you how you can do that. After that, it's important to create or attach an existing um, ML, a Azure ML computer. In this case, you need to create an, a computer target for your AutoML run. After this, you can set up a training and test data for AutoML experiment. You need to load the hardware dataset from a CSV file containing both training features and labels. The features are input to the model, while the training labels uh, represent the expected output of the model. Next, Next, we will split the data using a random underscore split class and extract the training data for the model. We also register the datasets into your uh, workspace using a specific name so that these datasets may be accessed from the remote compute. Here you can also see a snapshot of the dataset that we are going to see with the different vendor names and uh, model names and different features. Now it's time to train your uh, model. Here we are uh, putting together, we are creating an auto ML config object. And as you can see, there are a few parameters that you need to identify. There are the task. So this is a classification or creation or forecasting. Primary metric, this is the metric that you want to optimize. Uh, regression supports a different type of uh, primary metrics, as you can see here they are all listed. Then there is the experiment timeout in hours. You can also enable the early stopping, the futurization that is about creating additional features and measure the impact of these new features on your model accuracy and performance, the number of cross-validation, training data, and finally the label column name. So these are all properties, all parameters that you need to identify and specify once you run automated machine learning. Customization is also a very important step. Uh, different supported customization includes the column purpose update, but also the transformer parameter update, dropped columns, and block transformer. After this, you can look at the AutoML setting. Here you have to specify all the settings and then you have to specify, of course, also your AutoML config object. You can then call the submit method on the experiment object and pass the run configuration. Execution of local runs is synchronous. Uh, depending on the data and the number of it iteration, this can run for a while. In this case, it took up to six minutes. In this example, we specify short show output true. So this means that we want to print a currently running iteration to the console. We can see that our experiment uh, created a, a specific remote run and we can get additional information related to that remote run, such as experiment ID, type, status, details page and docs page if you want to learn more. So this is also very, very helpful. If you scroll down after the results, there is all the section uh, that allows you to leverage a few interpretability capabilities that are related to transparency. Here you can view your updated featureization summary. And then if you look down, you can see the results. So this is actually a very nice visualization because, because it shows you all the different machine learning pipelines that automated ML uh, generated and run for you. And you can also look at the different status, duration, and when they started. In terms of explanation, also this is important for transparency and interpretability. So in this uh, section of this exercise, you're going to learn how to uh, leverage the interpretability and the explanation uh, package. 
After that, the other important part is about operationalization. So here it's uh, uh, very straightforward because you can register the train AutoML model uh, and this is going to be registered in the outputs folder in the artifact. As you can see, you're going to get all these uh, um, packages for you. Then you can create the conda dependencies for setting up the service and also view your scoring file. As you can see here, there is a, a definition of the init function, and this is the definition of the run function. We are getting towards the end of the exercise. Now it's time to deploy your machine learning models as a verb service. In the cell below here, we deploy the service using the conda file and the scoring file from the previous step. You can look at the different view, the service logs, and finally, you can inference uh, using some uh, test data. In case you want to delete the service, you can just uh, use this service.delete uh, function. If you want to test your service here in these last few cells, uh, we are going to preview the first three rows of the data set, and then we are going to plot the residual values of the training set and also plot residual values of the test set.